We are turning a massive shipping container into an enclosure for a 20 foot python named Karma. Currently we are in the last stages of taking it apart so we can start reassembling the enclosure inside our facility. And honestly, it's going to be a miracle if nobody gets hurt in the process. We are making the last cuts. Is there a chance that this could fall on us? Yeah. All right. Just because all three of us are right here, that would be horrible. This is amazing. We are cutting stuff. Stuff is getting cut. Nah. Yeah, just barely. You just got through, just barely. <laughs> you might want to come on out of there. Woohoo! Rob, why don't you film from that side? Yeah, yeah, I'll film over here. Let me do it from over here. So what we're trying to do is just the hard cuts first. And then we just have a couple little pieces. So you can see we left a couple little pieces that hopefully will save our lives for some reason. That seems pretty, pretty not saving lifeable. Pretty yeah. not saving lifeable. Then we have to realize also the only thing holding this door up, it will be free as soon as I cut this. There's one little stitch right here. So I have to remember the order we're gonna go. We we'll hit that little stitch on the end. I need one of you guys on that, that strap pulling it away. Yep. Because I'm pretty sure when you're dropping giant pieces of steel, OSHA's okay with it as long as you pull on it with like a tie down strap. Yeah. Who's OSHA? What's OSHA? <clears throat> you never saw that movie? OSHA. OSHA's oh, 11. <laughs> OSHA's 11? Yeah. You never yeah. Saw that one? George yeah. Clooney. They always say he's the sexiest man alive, but they probably don't. But look, look at this. I was gonna say I don't know Clint, but oh. this is good for insurance purposes. You see that thing just boom! Oh yeah. I'm gonna cut this one. Jordan, you wanna put my life in your hands with the tie-down strap? Yep. I want this not to crush okay. me coming this right. way. Here you go. All right, go. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. You ready? Yep. This is dangerous. I don't know why that didn't fall. To go all the way to the back of that thing and yank it hard that way. Whoa, not that hard. I didn't know you were so strong. Wow. Wow. That's the last cut and then this door will come down. Woo, look at Ow, my foot. Can you imagine if your foot was under that? It wouldn't be there anymore. Why didn't this fall? Kick it. There's something that we didn't get. Is it this piece? All right, you want to get your tie down strap? I don't know where it is. This is scary. These are all going to go the double. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just going to go for it and you're going to save my life when it falls, right? Yes, sir. Scream when it starts coming down. This is awesome. Video evidence of Garrett's death. I am straddling something. Yeah, you're going to get whacked in the whack a nut. Ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Don't straddle. Getting closer. It's so scary. <laughs> Close your eyes. They kind of still know me at the hospital. Do you want me to do it? Uh oh. It's like the Tower of Pizza. I'd say get out of there and pull. See what happens. All right. You're pulling from the wrong direction, Garrett. You gotta tell this guy everything. You know what I mean? It's all been documented on film. Micromanaging, Rob. Who cares what direction I pull from? I got an idea. I want to try it myself. You're stifling my creativity. That felt like it was going to be a lot bigger and badder. So what we're doing is we're going to make a plate here on both sides so that there's end up being a hole through the center. And then we will create access ports so we can get a wrench in on each side. And then we will bolt these two pieces together here and here after this plate is welded in place. Hold your fingers so close to that. Like you had it over even closer. Oh, did I? This guy. Trying to do big things with small welders. This one doesn't look great, but then that's a nice weld right there. Yeah, that's ultimately what we need. I mean, it's 200 pounds snake. You know yeah, what I mean? so I, 
I think we might be okay. I can't believe you got that good of results. Nice job. Give me five beats to practice. I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you've been practicing on Thomas's car first, because the well, cage, yeah, you know, we need to be nice. It's going to be stronger. Hey, man, I always wanted a spoiler or whatever you did to my <laughs> I car. I wish you made the request before. <laughs> we'll call that a spoiler. Yeah. He, I he can just put said, some C-channel on he there. He just, just welded a big piece of scrap on the roof. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a spoiler. You might need a red flag hanging off the back of it from now on. I'll go ahead and get that cleaned up and remember to start welding those plates if you're good with it. Actually, uh, Thomas has an interview for you. Here. Oh, okay. Right here. And I need a mic. Yeah, that's up, exactly sir. it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you don't. You got a mic right there. Had a little bit of a roadblock yesterday. Couldn't get the welder to hit the right amperage to get good penetration for solid welds. Spoke to somebody Garrett knows, gave us some tips and advice. We are able to get some good penetration and lay some good welds down. So I think we've found our way around or over the roadblock. A little bit further, we might be able to. We're in. We're in. You're in? Jordan, you got a lift? Yep. <laughs> Alright, easy. Easy. Tile floor. That looks a lot bigger inside here than it does when you sit outside. Ready, set, go. Alright, we're out. It. Reflex is like a cat. I thought maybe it was attached at the top. <laughs> Cut through it and it just swung at my face. How does it feel to see the first piece? That's pretty cool. Did you see it from right there? I mean, it's nice to have the container like design language on it, but you really are not losing any visibility here. And it's so much wider than an actual container because we took the length and made it the end, you know? So that's pretty cool. It's going to look really nice. So we're going to have a mirrored piece to this that's now gonna come out here with then the metal going up right there. So it'll be like the corner of the thing will be all glassed in. Now that we have it up here, I kinda don't wanna carry it again. I think we should just finish it up here. What do you think? I'm with you 100%. <laughs> Let, let's work on site. <laughs> Bro, what happened, dude? Hold on, let me get that focus. Wire wheels. When glasses alone are not enough. What are your right. personal safety Pull equipment, everybody? How about a new piercing? Let me look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. Good thing I was only, oh yeah. Good thing I was only grinding that tar stuff off. I'm sure that's not uh, totally right. toxic. Ah, oh. yeah, it only went in about that much. Like baby snake tooth depth. That'll be fine. Our templates and everything, so we're like welding the frame up before we attach it to the container, making sure the doors fit. Look, that one looks like it fits. So it's kind of cool to see with all the frames sitting out this way, how it's super beefy and nasty. But it's going to be one window pane, another window pane, and then shipping container on the side across the bottom. We'll have four window panes going down, little shipping container all the way along the bottom, and then up on the end and shipping container doors on the outside. So it's pretty cool. A lot of work for one snake. All right guys, well it's Saturday, we're working long. Jordan and I actually have to get to the airport, get him home, I'm going out to California. Tim came in on a Saturday, all because we wanted to see this thing done. I mean, that'll give you an idea. This is the floor, that's the ceiling, that's the panel, and that's where the windows will go. But Tim, come tell us what's going on. So right now, the problem is that, for some reason, is not turning, which is not feeding the metal string. Yeah. The metal string. The wire feed like inside our little welder there is broken. And we can like go fix it and do all that kind of stuff. But we have literally like, I mean, I thought we were, I was like, it was like down to the last 
hour and we got like 10% of it done maybe. And the thing broke right before the finish line. It's like collapsing in a marathon 15 meters before the finish. Except we don't have a nice second place to help carry us across the line. Right this is gonna make it a lot harder to finish this cage by retake fest. To be continued. Thank you.